Hello everyone. Uh, the topic of uh, today's presentation is about energy effectiveness of solar and electric attic fans. So the reason uh, that I'm presenting this uh, presentation is that uh, my attic fan is not working and I was wondering if uh, it's a good idea to, uh, to change the attic fan. And and then uh, when I was searching about, uh, you know, how to change my, my, my attic fan, I came across uh, several of the papers and videos that saying that it's not a good idea. So I was wondering if that's true. So I, I decided to do my own research and then I found some interesting results and I thought I can share it, share it with other people. So here I, I, he, here how, how I arrange my presentation. So I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna start with uh, background as usual, and then present some result from internet search, and then again present some result uh, for for few for few papers, and then talk about solar powered attic fan, and a project which was done uh, about this, uh, and then present the result of this project, and then conclude my presentation with few conclusions. So, the, the purpose of power attic ventilation is to remove heat from an attic so cooling loads are reduced. But the question that in this presentation I'm gonna uh, try to answer is, is it worth money having or replacing the attic fan? Or in, in other words, uh, does energy saving exceed an energy cost? And I'm gonna pose the same question about solar fan. Does solar fan provide any advantage over electric fan? So first, when you search about this topic in the internet, you, you get, you know, few websites. Uh, homepower.com is one of the websites that uh, provide some information about this topic. And what they say is, according to a paper by John Tooley, uh, Power attic ventilation is counterproductive, uh, counterproductive, and in some cases dangerous. And then they go over this uh, this topic and provide more details. And so basically, in this uh, website, they uh, they demonstrate a, a nice illustration about you know how attic fan works. Basically, as you can see, when the attic fan is working, it's sucking air from this vents, which is around uh, around the, your attics, and the where it's uh, is sucked into a, a fan and then expelled through, you know, these these vents. Another website that uh, you come across with searching this is Energy Vanguard Block which again uh, explains how the attic uh, uh, attic is gain heat uh, how the attic is is uh, gain heat and they nicely explains uh, this process basically the major heat source is uh, is radiation from the sun so the shingles absorb the solar energy and then they pass it to to the air uh, inside the attic fan through conduction again uh, through radiation. So in the next slide, I'm gonna present the summary of the findings of these two websites. What they say is attic fan creates a negative pressure sucking cool air through cracks in ceiling. So basically, when you uh, start the the attic fan. Uh, it sucks the air, it creates a negative pressure, and the cool air uh, from your rooms and through cracks in the ceiling somehow gets into attic fan, and then it, it's a very inefficient way of uh, cooling. So, uh, and then, so what they say is the main source of heat transfer is radiation from the roof to ceiling. So you need to block this. Uh, this transfer. So good insulation, radiation barrier is more effective than attic fan. So all of these are good, but then they don't give you any uh, any numbers, any validation. How can we trust uh, you know this claim? So I continued uh, researching about this topic. I wanted to find some uh, some some 
some papers which done some measurement and interestingly I found few of them one of them uh, by Danny Parker uh, is a literature review of the impact and need for attic ventilation in Florida homes it's a very interesting paper and it's available on the web just search this topic and you can find it and download it so I summarize the results uh, uh, which is related to, to our subject so what Danny found was surprisingly there is just one detailed study about the effect of forced ventilation by by this guy at 1979 and what they found was that the forced ventilation reduced the cooling energy by 170 watts but the uh, but the consumption of the fan was about 328 watts so as you can see the the consumption, uh, the consumption of the fan uh, was was higher than the the saving of the the fan. Also, measured reduction to the maximum cooling load was only six percent for R dash uh, 19 ceiling insulation. So overall, the the powered ventilation does not typically result in a net energy saving, as you as you saw the. Uh, the cost is more than the saving for for power when for power fans unless the attic is unsulated. So if, if there is a bad insulation, it may provide some cost saving. Ventilated attics can introduce moisture to the homes by allowing the moisture laden air into attic. So that's another uh, negative effect. It can uh, uh, it can enter the moisture uh, because as you saw it sucked the air from the environment but again uh, because the attic uh, temperature goes up you know the moisture is going to uh, evaporate and uh, somehow get getting out of the, the, the attic but then I think that the net effect would be you know neutral or maybe you know some some moisture in uh, in your attic but then if there is nobody living in attic it it doesn't hurt that much so but uh, the positive effect of attic ventilation is it offers a slightly cooler roof surface and it may elongate the it, it may increase the the age of your uh, attic and the approximation is uh, it can uh, it can uh, uh, no attic ventilation would reduce the shingle life by approximately one to two years. But what they found was the roof shingles color play a more important role in roof surface temperature. So in the next slide, I'm gonna uh, give you more details about this effect. So what they did, uh, they measured the the temperature of, of white shingles, which represent by blue color versus black shingle which represent by red color so as you can see in the, the peak temperature of uh, black shingles is higher about 16 degrees Fahrenheit than the, the the temperature of white shingles so that's how it affects you know the temperature so it's gonna make your shingles cooler and your attic cooler so if you can uh, use bright uh, bright color shingles so up to now we covered the, uh, the electric powered uh, fans, but in this slide I'm going to talk about uh, effectiveness of solar powered attic. So again, Danny Parker conducted another interesting research. They uh, they did a research to study the performance of uh, solar attic uh, uh, ventilator fans. Again, it's available on the web, and just by searching this topic, you can find this uh, uh, this paper so they selected this home in Florida uh, it's a three bedroom uh, 1045 uh, feet square single family the household is occupied by four people most of the time uh, the home is cooled by a two and a half ton split system central air conditioner the interior temperature is maintained at 73 Fahrenheit the ceiling of the home has been approximately R-19 uh, R blown fiberglass insulation. Uh, 
and the home already had a radiant barrier so it was a pretty good uh, uh, insulated attic uh, so what they did they measured the ambient uh, interior air temperature and attic air temperature and they calculated the the cooling saving so so in this slide i'm showing the the picture of the this solar power installed uh, on the roof so they installed two two of these units and each uh, each solar fan uh, provides six to eight hundred cfm flow rate in terms of cost each of them cost the three hundred dollar and plus insulation is four hundred dollars so both of them eight hundred dollar uh, installed and this is uh, one of the most important the slides uh, for for this research so so this is uh, the temperatures uh, before and after installing the the solar the solar fan so basically before uh, there was no attic fan after there is a solar fan and so the the, the red color represents uh, the attic air temperature before and the the green represents the uh, attic air uh, you know after installing the solar fan so as you can see uh, as you can see the in the in the peak temperature the the attic with solar fan is 22 degree Fahrenheit cooler and just to for more description uh, uh, these two lines represent the ambient temperature so basically these uh, they just want to show that the ambient temperature is cool so uh, so the, the effect of ambient temperature is, is minimal so the attic is cooler with with fan of course uh, and in the next slide i'm showing the cooling power consumption so again the the red color represent uh, before installation the green represent after installation of solar fan so on average uh, the power the average power saving is six percent which is 2.8 kilowatt hour per day and if you if you multiply by days that you use ac uh, they got 460 kilowatt hour, hour saving which basically translates to 37 dollar cost saving per year in florida rates and considering the $800 investment that they did, the payback time of investment is about 20 years, which is not very attractive in terms of you know financial, but that's that's what the, what they got. So with that, I'm reaching to the conclusion. So the cost of electric power plant is higher than its energy saving. So there is no financial benefit in doing that. The saving of solar powered attic fan is about 6% annually, providing a modest energy saving. So again, uh, considering the, the investment, it's not very attractive, but then it provides some modest energy saving. Using electric or solar powered attic fan may increase the age of roof by one to two years. So that's a, that's a definite uh, plus of uh, having attic fan. But the most important Part of this presentation is how effectively we can, you know, reduce uh, uh, the attic temperature and reduce uh, reduce the cool the cooling load is using better insulation like radiant barriers and white shingles. So if we use these two, it's more effective than using attic fan. So with that, I'm ending my presentation. I hope you learned something new and. Uh, uh, just share this uh, uh, video with, with other people that are interested in the topic. Thanks.